So, hi guys. It's been a while since we've vlogged just because we've kind of been busy and we've been having, um, like our dad has been running out quite a bit lately. So we haven't really had a ton of time to do much vlogging. And so I guess I was going to do something today. So this is a pretty popular video at the end of the year. And... It's a what's in my backpack at the end of the year video. So I know you guys are probably expecting some weird stuff, but I actually had a pretty organized locker and backpack throughout the whole school year. So you're not gonna find anything super surprising. And most of this stuff was actually in my locker, but it got put into my backpack at the end of the year because, you know, you know how like you have to clean out your locker at the end of the school day? So yeah, that's kind of why I um, have a lot of like locker decoration stuff, so. All right, so I'm gonna start off with things that I have for like learning. So the first thing I have is the my first math book of the year. My second math book for the year my science interactive notebook which we use a lot my english notebook which i used a couple of times my three subject notebook that i never used um my spanish folder that i only used fourth quarter uh some just blank white pieces of paper uh this notebook i used like two no i didn't i don't know another notebook i never written wrote in written in. another notebook i didn't write in my social studies folder and my math folder and my roller that i've had for three years because it has this blue stuff that drips down right, so i just opened up my big pocket again and remembered i have my math notebook in there as well and then a book that i was reading present of the whole fifth grade even though i'm in sixth grade all right so now moving on to locker stuff so the first thing i had was i had this magazine rack on the bottom shelf of my locker and I, it held all of my notebooks in my math, so pretty much everything that I just showed you. And then, also I had in my locker, this locker shelf, which it works like this. You just unfold the legs and it stands up because our locker has one that's super high in the locker that I couldn't reach and that's it, that was the only shelf. So I got this for a locker shelf and then I put my magazine rack underneath that with all my notebooks and stuff, because I'm short and can't reach the top shelf. So there's that, my magazine rack. And then I have this little like pencil holder thing that I usually put my lanyard and ID in. And then I have a little whiteboard that I had page written on it, but it got erased, so. And then a cork board that I never used, it was just on the inside of my locker. And then this mirror. Hey guys. You're propped up on a laundry basket right now because I didn't have my tripod out. And now, so I just did the big pocket. And I usually have my trapper keeper in there, but I'm going to show you that at the end because that's like a whole other segment. So now I'm moving on to my second pouch. So my second pouch, I have my art bag. I was going to say art box, but I don't remember it's a bag. So I just have my markers colored pencils, scissors in the big pocket, and then glue, and crayons, and the two other pockets. And I like the bags better because I feel like a lot of times in the hallway, people drop their art boxes all the time, and then it explodes everywhere, and there's pencils and markers and everything rolling everywhere. So I like the bags. If I drop it, nothing happens. Then, 
I have another pencil case in here that just has like Sharpies. Have you ever seen one of these? It's like a big eraser thing and a highlighter. I don't think I used this bag once this year, but I got it last year for my old school, so I guess I was using it, trying to use it at least. And then, I actually have quite a few. This is like a little thing that I made like second grade. And it's so like if you have a water bottle that sweats, I know it sounds funny, but it's truth. If you have a water bottle that sweats, you could put that underneath and it doesn't get all over your table. And I usually put that in here, unless I'm using it. And then I had my lanyard that my ID was on, but my ID broke, so that also went in this little blue thing. Sorry for that, my dad just called me, so I interrupted the video. So, anyways, I have this lip sucker that student council is selling. And you were supposed to eat it during class, but I never did, so I'm kind of scared to try it now. But there's that. Um, a random clear wrapper thing. What is this? Is it like a fortune teller thingy? But we used it for Spanish, where you had to like spell out different words. And then, like, speak in Spanish when you were doing it. Whatever you call these things that go like that. That's going to go in my trash pile. And I have a piece of a granola bar wrapper. A piece of a gum wrapper. Another piece of granola bar wrapper. Another piece of granola bar wrapper. And my land my original lanyard that I had that just says my name of the school on it. And then I have this little mesh sack right here inside of that pocket. I believe I only have one thing in here. Yep. I have my pencil. And I actually ended the year with quite a few pencils to be honest with you. So pretty proud. Alright, so now moving on to the little phone pocket that's up here. The only thing I have is a little thing full of ibuprofen for when I get headaches and chapstick. And then, in this, it's pretty much where I put all my locker decoration stuff in. So then there was this that I just kept one marker and one pencil in just in case if I need to run back to my locker and grab it. It's just a magnetic thing. Oh, that's blocking the camera. I have a magnetic butterfly that I painted with this paint set a long time ago. I have these, ewy, they have like crumbs on them. Blech. But there's these two identical chevron magnets. In this, a kid in my class, or like one of my friends just during study hall made it for me. So I just kept it hanging in my locker. Um... These were the two markers and pencils that I had in that cup. And then I had this little magnetic clothes pin to hang a picture on, which I never got to getting pictures, so. And then another one. And there was another one that my friend still never gave it back to me, so I don't have that one anymore. Ewee, there's like crumbs in my bag and it's all over my magnets and it's really gross. All right, then I have this like flower magnet and this magnet that says goals. I don't even have my favorite magnets on yet. And then there's this like polka dotted flowery one. Then this one says, don't quit your daydream. And then, it's so gross. I don't know why this has like crumbs in the bottom of it, but it does. And then this one says, keep shining. It's coral and gold. And then I have two Starbursts that I'm going to throw away because I don't know how long they've been in there. And a packet of candy bananas. And I don't even like bananas, so don't know where that came from. And then in my side little water bottle pouches, I have a name tag that I got from my volleyball curl camp. And it has name, address, and everything, but I never filled it out. And in the other one, there's nothing. So that was in my backpack slash locker. 
So now moving on to my Trapper Keeper, which is what I pretty much, I never take my backpack anywhere. I always just take my Trapper Keeper. Oh, let's start with the front pocket, this pocket right here. I believe it only has one thing in it. Yep, it's my book that I'm reading. And I've read twice this year because I don't have any other good books that I want to read. That's the only thing that's in there. And then in the big pocket. Alright, so when I open it up. This is what it looks like. Oh shoot, and a pencil just fell out. So I have my case of markers. They're like thin tip to write with. And then my case of pencils. And this pencil just fell out. As you can see, I had a theme of like coral and mint green. And then my planner that the school board provides. It's freezing cold. That's how cold my room is. So that was just my planner that I wrote my homework and stuff in. And you could get infractions in, but I, but I never got any. And then I have my catechism folder, which don't need that anymore because I'm done with catechism. And then this was like a take-home folder type thing that I just put all my extra random stuff in. So there's that. And then there's a little pocket back here. The only thing I had was my broken bookmark for my planner. And then, actually I'm going to put this stuff back in here because, actually not. Eh, no, I'm not. So shut that. And then in this little zipper pouch right here, I have my earbuds. I have a Sharpie. Sharpie highlighter. These little marker thingy tabs. A Sharpie. Another highlighter. A pen. A pen and a stylus. A pen and a highlighter. And then in these little folder thingies, I just have the most randomest crap that I would, I think I was like just given back by a teacher and it's in here. So, as you can see, this desk very quickly accumulated a lot of junk, but it's okay, cause that was in my backpack slash locker slash trapper keeper. And I know there was nothing, like, too exciting because, like I said, I kept my stuff pretty organized. So, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do with all this stuff now. I have a hard time throwing away my homework because I just know how hard I worked on it. So, I'm thinking I'm just going to have to go through and put them in a recycling pile. And empty all my folders and everything. So, yeah, I guess that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> So, thank you guys for watching. I know it probably wasn't that interesting because there was no silly, like, shaving cream cans or anything like that. But, that's pretty much what I decorated my locker with and everything. So, thanks for watching. Bye!